Hello you! I'm Pantsman UK and this is a special video to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all 102 of you unless it's changed overnight it could be 103 or 104 now um, subscribers um, thank you for following me um, now hopefully your names are all scrolling past at the minute um, so I'm not going to do very much more other than say <clears throat> other than say that this is the Bitfolk SMP Minecraft server that we're on um, and this is my village I found it I put the wall around it hang on let's go up there we go Let's give you a view from up top because it's. I have terrible trouble with uh, creepers at the minute, so I'm going to climb to the roof. Um, yeah, this is my little bit of the server. Uh, if I do that for you, there you go. You can see the village nice and clearly. Um, I am slowly but surely flattening and moving things. Ouch! Didn't need to do that. Best of a, best of a tatty, or two. There we go. So yeah, this is my little bit of the server. Oh, I've got plenty of slime balls. Right, okay, that's interesting. Um, hmm. <clears throat> so we have houses for villagers. Uh, unfortunately, all the villagers I had, and I had quite a few, have been. Um, Gond. Uh, we suspect zombies. There wasn't an awful lot of light around the village, and especially once I started flattening and stuck the wall up, it actually got easier for things to spawn rather than more difficult. So, yeah, I'm flattening. Um, eventually, it will be internal of the wall, will be completely flat, and externally, this. This one over here, that's where I'm getting a lot of my sand from. I'm slowly but surely flattening that as well, as you can sort of see, I suppose. <clears throat> and <sighs> that's about it. Um, yeah, so the, the, the server is not open to the public. It's, it's whitelisted, and if you are not a Bitfolk customer, you cannot get on without being sponsored by someone who is a Bitfolk customer. There we go. Um, and that out there is the starts of my mob grinder. It's only three layers at the moment. I'm, I'm having trouble getting downward. Up I can do easily enough. It's down that's proving difficult because it's sitting over water. I will find a route way around that though. I have an idea. I might use sand just to block it. Fill in underneath it completely because at, at the end of the day I, we, I, I want that. I was going to say we want that but I want that to be as tall as it possibly can be. Um, now, in case anyone is wondering, I'm trying to make this video five minutes long, and then I will, I will use your names in a five-minute credit sequence, so that all 100 and however many of you it is right now have your names on screen at some point. Um, actually, on that subject, I suspect I owe Pahimar a big thank you. Um, if he hadn't released EE3 pre-release 1, I wouldn't have done a video for it. Absolutely no way I'd have done a video for anything other than EE3. Um, that, that kind of tells you how much I love Equivalent Exchange, but I really don't like Equivalent Exchange 2. So yeah, much love to <clears throat> Pahimar for EE3 because that's, that's where I suspect most of you came from. And that's five minutes. Um, 
I'll be cutting it here. Again, thank you all 100 and however many of you it is right now. And much love, respect and thanks to Pahima for the name check that pretty much doubled my subscriber numbers in three days. Hope to see you all in uh, Feed the Beast, which fingers crossed is out later this week. And if not, well, we'll see what we do instead. Tatty bye for now.